Hello, everyone. How's it going today? So I thought that we would start with a little quick build. And uh, just kind of do something a little quick before we uh, get to some of the uh, minifigure sets. Um, just because I needed to get over a certain amount with a uh, purchase. <laughs> Four plus need some help. See, it has this adorable little rat that I don't have. So that that makes it worthwhile. Actually, the uh, orange cones and the, the work sign are also nice in the uh, wheelbarrow. And it's just fun to, uh, to just build, too. Howdy, you mean a cone? How's it going? Subscribe to Tier 1. Thank you very much. And it does say learn to build. So it looks like we are going to learn to build today. So just going to go with this uh, to start with. Tear open this box. Dump it out. I have uh, changed the setup a little bit so that it's uh, going to be a little bit better for um, some of the other builds. Uh, we have the instructions, but I have added in something new. And there we go. So, uh, that messed up. Okay, hold on a second. Why did you mess up? Oh, I know why you messed up, because... Uh, that needs to be closed this time. There we go. That is better. All right. So we'll go ahead and have uh, the instructions. I've got a, a PDF a viewer here. Can't decide if Lego Building Lawyer or this uh, Aldi would be this old Aldi would be a right name for these streams. <laughs> Kichikun, thank you for the cheers. I really appreciate it. So, I'm not using the paper uh, instructions. Uh, now, this is one of the so-called juniorizations that we got on these uh, sets. A dragon builds. Yeah, that could be it. Um, the base of the uh, truck is just this, this uh, piece right here. Let me actually go ahead and get onto the instructions. Go ahead and open up the uh, bags, pour them out. Toss the bags away for now. Off camera. I mean, there's still some good pieces in it. And let's see. All right. Yeah, a little, uh, little wheelbarrow. It's always uh, neat. Uh. Ald heard that you heard the ultimate insult. Your brother buys you buys you Mega Bloks. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's that's an insult. That is an insult. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with the minifig here. Put the big pieces to the side a bit. He's got a little uh, little sungla sunglasses, hard hat. Try not, let's see if this focuses. You want to focus, camera? Eh, camera doesn't want to focus right now. That's actually getting some reflection, so let's move that. And uh, the little rat. It's a, it's a new new rat piece. You want to you wanna focus, camera? Come on. I know you can focus that close. Are you set to autofocus? You should be set to autofocus. Probably just doesn't like this. I am looking at... Yeah, it's set to autofocus. It just doesn't want to. Um, I am looking at getting a, a better camera. Need to watch some of those uh, beauty vlogs. They have all the camera focus tricks. <laughs> yeah, that would be... That might work. I mean, I'm using the, the ring lights as well. It refuses to focus on rats. Yeah, that might be it. Get my... What if I, what if I move all this stuff off? 
And Vatsko Screech, thank you for the uh, the cheers. Nah, it just doesn't want to focus on it. Put your other hand behind it. Oh yeah. Oh, that worked. Okay. Yeah, so it's a little uh, little rat. It's a new new piece for me. Um, they had a uh, a rat a number of uh, years back that wasn't quite as adorable. Um, fits uh, right there on a brick like that. There we go. <laughs> Zerfall knows all the tricks, yeah. And Anghameron, thank you for the cheer as well. And another uh, Lego hype train, indeed. All right, let's put the pieces back up here. And get my instruction manual up. So we'll go ahead and build the... Uh, the little sign. There we go. Build our wheelbarrow. <laughs> You've seen a lot of beauty vlogs. Howdy, Gargamond. How's it going? Alright, now for the... Let's see, what was the actual set name? Uh, toss the box away. Uh, just Roadwork Truck. That's That's the name of it. I mean, Zerfall can, can want to be beautiful. It's fine. Happy Friday, indeed. Thank you. These uh, two by four tiles are pretty nice. <laughs> Bald is beautiful. Preskitch, thank you for the uh, bits as well. We're working our way towards the... Um... Oh, that's, a, that's a new piece. I'll look at that in a moment. Uh, working our way uh, towards getting the end Boneri a whole bunch of bits. Thank you. Got the uh, hype train. It is just raining, uh, raining confetti now in in my chat. Getting us closer and closer to our goal of getting the assembly square. And Mina Cohn, gifting a uh, tier one sub uh, to Rib Smasher. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Hype train go. I really do appreciate it, everyone. Go ahead and put these pieces on. One by four plate. And get the fender pieces, which are... I don't know that I've had any of these. Uh, they... Uh, They'd make good engines on a spaceship. I'll have to keep that in mind. All nail polish stream when? <laughs> uh, never. Never. I am, I am not a fan of nail polish. <laughs> Either on myself or other people. I mean, if other people wear it, it's fine. It doesn't, that doesn't bother me. It just... I'm OCD, so it, it, it gets to me a little bit. Uh, this is an interesting piece. It is two tiles high. And let me see if I can get this on the uh, camera. It's, it's, uh, it's grooved on all four sides. So that's a pretty cool piece. I don't have one of these. And I got two of them here. You forgot about this and you were getting ready to go to bed. Well... I'm glad that you remembered it. I'm guessing that this is the engine for the vehicle. Go ahead and put these clips on. We got a yellow uh, slope piece, curved slope. Howdy, Yab Cody. How's it going? And we've got uh, a printed uh, slope here. Super common back in the day. Get that to uh, focus. 100 bits for a tad more hype. Now we're at level 3 on the hype train. 
Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I, I've I've been looking forward to it since the last one. So I'm I'm super excited to be uh, back doing another one. So I was I was talking to someone recently about um, this is very similar to the old uh, car roof hinge pieces. Um, I don't have any here, but there'd be a one by four plate, um, and the big difference is that it was flush, so you'd be able to put pieces on top of it like that. With this, if you wanna if you wanna get it flush, you know you're looking at this kind of construction, which is a little bit annoying. That, is, that does not want to focus. There we go. So, I, I'm not a big fan of these. They're, they're the click hinges. Um, so the point of them is that they, they fix into position. And you can still get a, you know, like a reverse uh, piece construction this way, but I don't think it's going to be as... Yeah, it's not going to be flush like the old one would. Kind of see that there. It's not flush. So that's kind of disappointing. How unhinging, yeah. Ab Cody subscribed to Prime for 22 months. Thank you very much. That gets uh, closed there. Put these plates on there. I'll get the uh, bucket piece. And then get the uh, the roll cage. Did that snap in there? Yeah, it did. There. Put a little light on top. And I got a level 2 uh, hype train emote. Thank you very much. And Hessen 100 bits, thank you. Go ahead and put on the tires here. I have so many Lego tires, it is just utterly ridiculous. All the Lego hype trains, indeed. Man, just wait until I actually uh, build a Lego train at some point. Hessen, a whole bunch more bits. Thank you very much. We're really working our way towards uh, getting that assembly square set. Obviously, I need to build the Titanic, too. But I think I've got a, a, a setup that's good for that now. So we will be looking at that. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. We'll be uh, doing that pretty soon. Uh, I want to build uh, the medieval the medieval blacksmith first, and then we'll do the uh, we'll start working on the uh, Titanic. We'll be back uh, into chat later. You're taking the doggo out for a walk. All right. Have a nice walk. One of the reasons I got the set was for the yellow cones. Covet's blacksmith set. Oh, I'm looking forward to building that. It's really nice. Can put a block in there. Put some of these blocks in here. I mean, it's 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 kind of neat that it just comes with uh, blocks. You know, bricks for, for no particular reason. I mean, it's not a great little, you know, vehicle, as vehicles go. But it's not bad either. Uh, and this is actually, like, as annoying as it is, it's the, um, it, what is referred to as juniorization in the LEGO community, because there were a whole bunch of quote-unquote junior sets that they started doing that with. Um... You know, it's not as 
elegant in terms of building, but it has its uses. It's actually really good for structural uh, construction. Um, if you want to make a, a good solid reinforced interior structure on a floor, a, a spaceship, that kind of thing. Go ahead and get this guy inside the uh, truck. You want to focus? Doesn't want to focus right now. All right, so that is uh, the truck and all of those pieces. I should probably find something to put it in. Uh, and I did toss away the uh, box. There we go. I got the box back. Put all the pieces in the box for now. Including the cute, adorable little rat, which was one of the main reasons I got it. <laughs> I didn't have one of the rats. I wanted the rat. All right, so next up, minifig time. So we've got uh, three of these Series 22. I've got more on the way. All right, so that's the one that we're gonna we're gonna work on there, and put you up there for the moment. Series five. I guess we're doing that one. <laughs> that one popped out, so it's like, ooh, ooh, build me, build me. Unless, of course, it's the same one that we built last time. Uh, this box does have 60 in it, out of a total with a total of 16 different ones. So there are a lot of duplicates. If I get a duplicate, I'm not building it. <laughs> me, me, me. The claw has chosen. Yes, a box of minifigs. All right, so first up, we're going to do the Series 5, and let me go ahead and run a prediction. Can all guess what is in the minifig pack? Start the prediction. We've got two minutes. So we're going to start with C Series 5, uh, which let me get a the sheet here. Also, let me go ahead and hide the instructions for the moment. A little bit of glare there. You want to you focus webcam? Doesn't really want to. But you can kind of tell. We, we built this one last time. Uh, yes, we've done two, and I've accurately guessed them both so far. It did take a little bit longer. I need to be faster about it. Because it threw me off. While we're, while we're doing that, um, so this is what we had last time in the series uh, 22, and what was throwing me off was the trash can, because I didn't realize that was in there. And I decided to get one of the old trash cans... You can kind of see the difference here. There's like this ridge here, and if we look at the top... You want to you wanna focus, camera? There we go. Let me just put her there. So you can see that there's four clips here and two clips here. So that's, uh, that's a big difference. Um... There's a bit more space in between here. So this can this is a little bit more flexible on a plate. But they do fit together. <laughs> so I thought I'd pull one of those out and show it. Can we get that glare off? Pull that off. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to set a timer. Uh, let's see. I'll give myself uh, two minutes. So we're going to start with, uh, with this one. Okay. All 
Uh, let's see. There's a round piece that might be the hair of Cleopatra, but I'm not feeling the I'm not feeling the, the the legs. So no, this is not Cleopatra. Um, what is this piece? It might be the uh, the ice fisherman guy. I don't think so. What is that? What is that? Oh no! All right, I know it's the uh, it's the dino. All right, 53 seconds. Am I right? Is it the uh, the dino guy? I left my scissors somewhere else. There we go. Let's get my scissors. So I based on I think I felt the tail. Yeah. Yeah. There's green. It is indeed the dinosaur costume. Look at that grin on his face. That's kind of how I feel right now. You wanna, you wanna focus? Doesn't want her to focus. Big Pickle bet 15k hams wisely. There we go. There we go. And put him up there. Alright, let's go ahead and choose that prediction. Yet 95% said yes. <laughs> Let's complete that prediction. What was the summary on that? Yeah, Abcody and Hessen with the uh, the largest amounts there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that is uh, the series five. And toss that over there. Next up we have uh, Series 22. You think you gained 11 hams total? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might be too good at this for this to work. I don't know. Alright, so it's not really focusing very well, unfor unfortunately. Um, we had the raccoon girl last time. So let's go ahead and start up a new prediction. We can all guess what is in the minifig pack. Two minutes. I have not felt these in advance. Uh, let's see, what am I hoping for? I mean, obviously I'm hoping for all of them. Um, the ones that I don't care as much about are the alien, although getting the classic space torso in purple is kind of neat. Don't really care that much for the, uh, the robot. Um, the ones that I really like are the uh, bard, uh, the, I don't know, the icy warrior guy. Maybe every success you lose 30 seconds from your timer until you drop to 30 seconds. I I don't think that I could do any of them in 30 seconds, honestly. We got uh I'd like the little pony as well. All right, some people are are putting money on no. Uh, to be fair, this is the one that I don't know. I do know series 5 pretty well. You had a friend that could clock My Little Pony blind bag figs easy. Yeah, I mean, that's the big thing is is you just look for one piece, like one particular piece. I figure, like, this guy is going to be really easy to figure out. This one's going to be pretty easy to figure out. Um, this one is pretty easy with the, now that I know that the trash can's in it. 
Uh, some of these other ones, like this one, I don't think will be that easy. The horse and the dog will be pretty easy. Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and get my timer up. Alright, we're going to hold it and go. Alright, what do we got? Uh, don't know what that is. That's the plate piece. That's something big here. Alright, it's, uh, it's the pepper girl. Alright, my, my, my guess is pepper girl. That was 18 and a half seconds. So, to be fair, some of them are pretty easy. Am I right? Is it pepper girl? Wow, there's no uh, bag. It is Pepper Girl. Yep. All right. So, let's go ahead and choose that prediction. Choose the outcome. Complete the prediction. That was correct. <laughs> big Pickle wins big. All right, let's see. We've got a uh, dark red uh, torso. That's kind of neat. Dark red legs. A lady's uh, head. Uh, she does have hair. That's kind of neat. And then, in fact, you can't see the hair on the... Uh, you want to you wanna focus? Pretty sure you can focus that that close, camera. Oh, well. I don't think I have this hair piece, so that's nice. Go ahead and take off her hair, put her into the uh, uh, pepper. So this is big pepper. In fact, let me go ahead and see the uh, the details on that. Let me actually take a look on my dashboard. I want to see the summary. All right. Yeah, Hessen, Hessen did uh, go big and won quite a few. Way to go, Hessen. I mean, it's a good way to get some extra uh, hams. Okay, we got a uh, little... A little bottle of milk or something. Yep, focus in on that. And an extra wedge piece. Focus, camera? Uh, camera doesn't want to focus on that. If you eat something that's super spicy, milk, dairy helps. See, I don't know that because I don't eat things that are super spicy. <laughs> Alright, so two for two once again. Two for two once again. Let's go ahead and move those off to the side. And our next build is going to be... Let me go ahead and get the picture on the stream. Uh, 6327 Horse Transporter. Uh, not a whole lot of pieces, but it has a new horse. New-ish. Um, it's not the newest horse, but... And yeah, it has a, it has the same puppy that's in the... Uh, in with the uh, Arctic guy. And puppers are always good. Yeah, the trailer's pretty nice. It's got a lot of nice curl, uh, curved pieces, which are always nice. Always, always nice. All right, let me switch over to my instructions. There we go. Go ahead and pull that up. And I told you to close these out. I'm going to have to do that for all of them. Hold on a second. Yep, going to have to do that for all of them. Uh, 
Let's get that closed out. There's probably options that I can go set to uh, get rid of those. Oops. Not that yet. That's what we want. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and open this one. Oh, and it has some nice uh, pictures on the back of... Uh... It used to be that you'd get pictures of alternate models. You don't get that anymore, which is kind of disappointing these days. Um, but it is nice to show off other aspects of the set as well. And when I say used to, I mean back in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Sets that came out in the 2000s, actually in the late 90s and 2000s, that all feels uh, kind of new to me, to be honest. Uh, you had a friend that lived in between apartments and each had a husky that figured out they could communicate through the vents. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. At least terrible in its loudness, I should say. Okay that box down there. Uh, two instruction books. One for the car, one for the uh, trailer. Put those aside because I'm not using them. Uh, stickers. Which I'm not going to put on. Uh, we are doing bag number one, so we'll put aside bag number two. All right, bag number one. And the horse. Kinda, this pose kind of makes him look like he's uh, a dog stretching. Head goes up and down. Alright. Let's do that. Put the bag over there. Oh yeah, the horse goes for the, uh, the next part. Alright, so I did want to uh, do something else. Uh, show off something else. So, the uh, the new horse... Uh, and I, I say new loosely, because it's been around for... Probably at least ten years now. It could rear up and put it down on the, uh, on the ground like that. But... Uh, it's it's pretty different from the what I would call the old horse. Uh, the head's a little bit sleeker, but similar size, and of course the the cutout is about the same size. You got a little bit more of a, a belly rather than this this straight flat corner there. And of course this uh, horse, as some people have said, has seen some things. That horse is very shocked. Yeah. Uh, but the heads still go uh, down. It's a bit more contoured, this head, but the the basic shape of the head is, is the same. I do like the old horse, though. So. Big fan of the old horse. Alright, but that horsey isn't being used yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch it over to the instructions. Go ahead and uh, put the minifig together. Where is his legs? There they are. The most important question is, can they crossbreed? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's having non-flashbacks non or flashbacks to alt singing. Ah, oh, some people like my singing. Guy has some uh, very spiky hair. We can put the uh, riding hat on, which is the exact same piece as the hard hat from the other set. Um, just black. And his spiky hair. He's got a sweater on. That's kind of neat. I like that pattern. The old horse has seen one of its mates turned into horse ham. No, just glue. Alright, 
So we got a... Nope, not quite the same color. It's not standard brown. It's kind of a kind of a caramel, taffy, toffee color. Go ahead and put the carrot in. And the brush. And we have the adorable pupper. Which is one of the reasons I got the set, even though I'm pretty sure I have one. Look at him. He's so cute. Okay. Next it up. Alright, we get the uh, trailer hitch on. The uh, plate with the uh, Technic pins. All this alt singing is fun and entertaining. You have to defend it since the title rabbit is off tonight. <laughs> She'll appreciate that. I think she she's uh, hoping to get uh, to come in at some point. There we go. Get another grill piece and another plate with the Technic pins. And the tail lights. It's nice to get uh, one by two transparent pieces. Trans red, very useful. Also feels like a new piece to me. <laughs> so many pieces feel new to me. I have been doing Lego for so long. grill piece. Which I'll note that these used to not have uh, the the ridge or the the um, inset. Going to be really hard to pick up on the camera, but if you built Lego recently with one of these pieces, then you know. Uh, the old ones didn't have that. Like this this was a, a, it's a hallmark of the, the tile pieces, and the oldest ones did not have that. Real pain in the butt. And you know what? I meant to show off something else. Let me see if I can find that. Hold on a second. Okay. Alright, so anyone who's uh, bought a reasonably large Lego set recently has gotten the uh, famous brick separator. Probably in uh, orange, possibly in another color. Um, I have literally dozens of these. But here is the older brick separator. Um, the, uh, the fun thing about these, these new ones, I mean these new ones are genuinely more useful. Um, you've got, uh, this for levering the pieces off that way. You can lever them this way. You've got the, uh, thin edge for getting the, the tiles off. And, of course, you've got the Technic at cross axle for pushing through, uh, Technic pins and stuff like that. But the old one didn't have any of that, but it's it's a got a, a, a nice shape for, for actually levering. And the other thing is that if you put on the, um, the little lever pieces that I don't think are in this set, it would make a great slug for uh, a, uh, like a Dungeons and Dragons thing. Also, let's see if we can show off the color change. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the different shades. The uh, the old brick separator is old dark gray, and the fender is new dark gray, or dark stone gray. 
You thought it was a ramp? <laughs> In case I need it, I'll put that over there. Don't think I will. Alright. Let's go ahead and get back. Get some uh, of the light blue pieces on. Another reason I got this. Dark blue, light blue. Mm -mm. So tasty. It's always nice to get other colors. Trying to remember if I have any Maersk blue, which is one of the rare Lego colors. Howdy, Seelan, how's it going? Maersk blue being the color of the Danish transportation company Maersk. Yeah, this is a this is a lovely shade. It's a lovely, lovely shade. Uh, I would like to get a lot of it in order to build a Lego uh, radish. And by radish, I mean the Gundam ship. Is good. Just popping in while on a quick break. Awesome. Yeah, I saw that you're, uh, you're playing some more Dragon Quest XI there. these pieces on. Fill them in with the 1x4 plates. And it uses the click hinge pieces as uh, side view mirrors. You really like the dark blue color? Yeah, the dark blue is lovely too. It's very, very nice. Big fan of that being when that was added to the uh, the color palette. Get another one by four plate there. Get the front fenders on. There it is. One by four brick with side studs. Four by four plate. I call it tan. It's not the color. I don't think that's the color. No, I call it beige. They call it tan. That's right. Yeah, they're throwing me off now. Another uh, very useful piece for getting so-called studs not on top. The lighting looks pretty good. Yeah, it, I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. I need to get some uh, like cheesecloth or something like that to make it uh, a bit more diffuse because uh, I can still get some some unfortunate reflection. Uh, yeah, just like that. And there's one up that way as well. So I'd like to get some uh, something to try and make it look a bit more diffuse but we'll see how that goes. All right, this one by two a tile is supposed to take the license plate sticker. I'm not putting that on. Because I am going to be taking the set apart when it's done. Parts is parts. Then we get uh, the bumper pieces on. Even though the bumper is flush to the grill. There we go. And then the hood. And the old classic steering wheel. And... Uh, this windshield was, it's been around in this exact form uh, since at least 1985. Obviously, it wasn't in this shade back in 1985, but 
this piece has been around that long. Get some side panels here. A little bit of uh, dust on the inside. This is a pretty nice looking uh, SUV when it'll all be done. No actual doors, though. <laughs> so you can't pose the uh, the minifigs getting in and out, but... Oh, well. Nice to get some uh, tiles for these as well. And we collect up, uh, connect up the roof. Is there going to be a tile on that? Yes, there is. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, looks a little thick because of the uh, the plates to me. I probably would want them to not be there. But then these would rest right on the, uh, the panel pieces, and it would be a little loose when you take the take them off. On the other hand, if you put the back one on solid, the front one can easily come on and off. And we'll go ahead and get the uh, wheels and tires on. Who needs doors? Well, I mean, you'd think that they might want to get in and out. I don't know. <laughs> That's just me, though. All right, there we go. And they do allow for you to have different hub designs depending on which way you turn the uh, the wheel. Be forever stuck in the car. They have giant hands coming from above to put them in and out of their vehicles. That is true. That is true. So we have two extra pieces. We have the uh, carrot plant stem piece and a one by one yellow tot round tile. Stay on my finger, please. Put those to the side. All right. Let me see where the top of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Let's get the horsey out. Open up bag number two. Actually, let me double check to see if there's anything else that it wants me to do. Yeah, I'm not going to put him in the car right now. Okay. Hop over to the second one. Chuck the bag aside. Chuck that bag aside. Spread these out a little bit this way. We have space for this bag here. So, taking a quick look, uh, this piece is also pretty old. This thing was this thing came out in uh, uh, the late '80s. I remember when these. I remember. I don't remember exactly what year. I'd have to go back and look. But I remember when these came out and getting a bunch of the sets that they came in. Uh, this round part that fits against it came out a bit later, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, horse trailer. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice looking. All right, so let's go ahead and make the minifig. Huh. She's got an interesting torso. Let me put her together, and then we'll we can take a look at that. 
Also, uh, a note, you might, you'll see when you get uh, Lego minifig legs, the uh, legs are turned back a bit, or the, the hips are turned back. Kind of hard to see. Um, that is so that they can put printing on that. So they manufacture them that way these days, so they can put printing on them. All right, where is her? There it is. Now, actually, let me take off her hair piece. You're gonna. So that's the front of her. And the back. It's a neat little design. And then the. Um, the hat is has built in hair, which is pretty cool. Knock over the dog there. Do I have any of the brand crossover Lego sets? What do you mean by brand crossover? Like Star Wars? The licensed sets? Uh, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> um, when episode one came out, there was this midnight opening for Toys R Us. I went to my local Toys R, Toys R Us, and I was the only one there specifically for the Lego. I didn't give a crap about anything else, and I'm in line there, like, I was, like, the third or fourth person in line, Everyone else there is like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get some Lego too. It's really cool, but I'm also getting the, the the figures, the action figures, and the you know all these other you know all the other stuff. And they were impressed that I was there just to get Lego. And yeah, I've gotten uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, I would like to get the Ecto One Crescents. That would be that's that is a pretty nice set. Um, I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff. I'm looking forward to the DeLorean. That is a lovely set. Um, really looking forward to that. All right, so the horses have this cutout here, and you can build a, a, a fill for it. And it used to be, uh, on the oldest sets, it would be a one by two plate there. And that is, of course, so that you can put on a saddle. The saddles have not changed much. The um, the clips used to be only on one side, then they put them on both, and they used to be a lot thinner, so they 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 broke. I have a lot of old ones that broke. It's a nice dark brown saddle though, which is uh, a new color for me for saddle. And Kinshear subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just like real horses, exactly, exactly. Go ahead and have her. Uh, ride on that horse. Alright. We get start working on the little uh, jump. Ecto-1 is a super fun build. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, I was a little iffy when they first started licensing. Uh, I got convinced just because of all the good parts in the uh, Star Wars sets, which was, you know, basically the first of their um, the licensing licenses that they did. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a lime green. Very nice. There's an actual olive green, too. But yeah, I've gotten like a bunch of um, Star Wars sets, like the the old Episode One MTT, the the big uh, transport tank that the front would come out, and there'd be a thing that slides out, and the the droids would would deploy from that. Lovely set because of all the brown. Is there a pickle green? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Is it called Pickle Green? And this this tile piece right here, let's see if this uh, comes up. 
It is literally a gold bar piece. I, 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 that's what it's called. It's hard to show on the, the camera. But it's literally a gold bar piece. Because they, they first made it in uh, uh, gold-plated or um, kind of a plasticky, milky gold color um, as gold bars. Yeah, the little notches on top, and it's kind of angled like an ingot. It's a, it's a lovely piece. It's great for um, all kinds of decorations. Uh, there's a... They've been doing a bunch of Chinese sets lately because the Chinese market is getting really big for them. Um, and they used a whole bunch of these as like a roof tile thing. Lovely, lovely design on that. I'm looking, I, I want to get some of those. Alright. And this is a, uh, a candle piece. Um, I want a bunch of these in black because they're going to be useful for... Uh, Star Wars, uh, Gundam ship guns, and that's uh, a coral color, which would work really well for a... <laughs> there, there aren't a whole lot of bricks in that color. It would look, it would work really well for a, a Shars Gelgoog or a Zaku 2. Next weekend you have to head south to the Lego store. Be careful not to spend too much. I say, knowing that I would not be able to resist that. I love these new pieces, and I'd love to get more of this coral color. And we got a little uh, jumping thing right there. <laughs> they roll. Very easy to knock off. Interesting. Starts with a uh, an old wing plate piece, which they had. They're they're notched so you can do uh, this kind of thing. Uh, the original ones were not notched. It, it was a a wing for uh, small planes. Just kind of a straight wing. And this is a this is a lovely shade here. Not even sure what color that is in in the Lego parlance, but it is a lovely purple color. Uh, what's the difference in coral and salmon, and which is more proper for a Char mobile suit? Well, I'm just going for what's uh, uh, in this. I mean, they, they call it, I, I want to say, like, bright coral or something like that. I can't remember right now. Um, but I don't think that they have a, a, a color more appropriate for Char's mobile suit. If they did, I'd consider that. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't feel... Mauve feels lighter, more pinkish. I don't know. It doesn't feel like mauve to me. And I doubt that's what it's called as well. But, I don't know, I'd have to go look at the... Uh, uh, part inventories. That's a 2x6 tile that I don't think I have, and these 2x3 tiles are fairly new as well. So, yeah, Shars, Gelgoog, and Zaku, they're, they, in Lego colors, you'd be talking about this bright coral and dark red. Those would be, like, this red is, is too normal red. You want, a, you want dark red for that. I was expecting the uh, tiles to do that. I think they do this so that it's easier to take apart. And easier to put together. There's less... Yeah, you have to put less pressure on it. Now we get the tiles for where the horse slides in. There's the lime color. 
one by two plates with clips. You need to get the rest of the origin ma manga. Keep putting it off. Oh yeah, it's the 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 hard covers. Those are those, that's a fantastic release. Oops, that's not pushed down all the way. Get more uh, of the lime there. Get the hitch piece connected. You think you have the first six hardcovers? Yeah, I got I got them all like as they were coming out, or as soon as I realized that they were out, or something like that. Love that release. So glad we got that. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to Dones Island uh, when that comes out as well. A couple more red bricks and uh, so-called macaroni pieces. Uh, one downside of these is you can see on the underside now uh, it's got this cross bit there so that uh, um, you can either you know it, it basically only fits on like that it used to be that you could like, you can only layer them like this. It used to be that you could offset these like this and actually, like, get it uh, um, to go up, and that would make really solid construction on these things. Uh, it's a shame that they, they stopped doing that, but it does make it a bit stronger of a piece, so. That said, I still love them. Never have enough of those. Standard 2x4 plates. Some panels. Is there going to be a tile inside? Nope. Does not look like it. And get our 1x4 or 2x4 slope pieces. And here's where we'd put on some stickers. I'm a little annoyed at this having a 1x4x3 brick rather than a 1x4x3 panel. It does make it a little bit stronger, but still. Like, they could also have done three 1x4 bricks there as well. There's a couple places where it makes sense to do that. Uh... Like the the one by one by five bricks that are just f like five one by one bricks on top of each other, it, it makes sense to do it to do that because um, that's extremely easy to like just break out and crush a, a floor down. Maybe they think if you want structural stability, you'll use glue. No, I don't think they're. I don't think they're thinking that. I mean, it is easier to, for those pieces to break as well. So that's probably part of it. But at least we get these. And it is the, uh, the same slope angle or curve angle. Lego is against the gluing for yeah for a home use obviously I mean they they do it for their parks and all of the uh, the big builds that they that go on display but I mean you know has to uh, 
Uh, and this is an interesting thing. This is probably not going to pick up on the uh, the camera. Uh, there's two little kind of kind of studs or, or nodules, and uh, on the inside of this uh, this piece, there's two indentations. Well, three actually, specifically so that you can put this on and it stays up. And then you uh, close it, if I had it lined up right. So it stays in those two uh, positions. Otherwise, it wouldn't really stay up. Camera's doing well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I do want a better one, though. They uh, have to use glue for the Lego build in Disney Springs. Yeah, a anything that's going to be on display. Because um, they don't want it to break. They don't want it to fall over and, and break. And they don't want people stealing parts off of them and stuff like that. If any, of. And then some more. Oops. Actually, it does look like the uh, pieces are not quite the same angle, which is uh, interesting. I was not expecting that. I don't think I've ever put them together quite like this. All with a secret Lego procurement satchel stealing parts from Legoland. Hey, you know, if I could... There are some really good pieces on some of those. And then we do the wheels. I think I mentioned last time that LEGO is the uh, number one producer of tires in the world. It's true. There we go. You can put the... Uh, let's see. Yeah. And it is nice that they're now including uh, the... Uh, parts list in the back. That's really nice. It does ignore extras. Like, it says only one of the uh, carrot pieces. They could have its... I mean, I get it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's sturdy. It means that there's no extra pieces going together on them. Uh, I, I get it. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they definitely could have. How many carrots does one horse need? Uh, all of the carrots? Let's see if we can get his, uh, head sticking out. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? We can open this up. And put the uh, extra hat in there. Probably want to put the uh, the saddle in there as well. Okay, saddle does not want to fit. There we go. That should do it. Slide right in there. And get uh, this guy driving. Oh yeah, this extra piece. 
toss that over there. She can sit there. See if I can get the uh, pupper to stick his head out of the window. Alright, not quite. There we go. Little pupper sticking his head out, kind of, kind of out of the window. And the uh, little uh, jumper thingy. I don't know. I have no idea what those are called. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I like this one. This is a pretty good set. Uh, you get the horse, good color of the horse, two people, including the lady with the hard hat and hair, uh, a pupper, good colors, um, a decent build on the SUV, great trailer. It's a fantastic trailer. Um, two of these pieces, which are really nice. So, yeah, I, I recommend this one for anyone who wants, uh, you know, wants some town stuff. That will drive off there. All right, so we have an hour left. Uh, there is something that I'm going to show off, but I'm not going to build yet. I'm not going to build this time. Might do it later if we have some spare time after a session. Specifically, uh, something fell down in my basement, and I had to go uh, move it. And I was like, oh yeah, I have these things. I mean, I remembered that I had them, but I didn't like think that much about it. Lucky made a new friend on the walk and decided to get real vocal about it next to the house. Thank goodness you didn't wake up Lil Z. Aww. Taking a Stellaris break. I may have forcibly created a massive multi-species empire by dominating the primitive. <laughs> so, I have two of these. Individually numbered. 216 out of 500. 393 out of 500. San Diego Comic Con 2008 exclusive. Um, yeah, so there's 500 of these out there. I have two of them. I'm so much of a hoarder. All mine. Uh, Indiana Jones. So I built one. It has this uh, pickup truck. And a little terrain piece as well. I'll build it. I'll build one later. Not right now. Um, but, uh, yeah. Very, very exclusive. I had a friend going to San Diego Comic Con, and I got her to get me two of them. All it has an entire separate wing of a house just for Lego storage. I wish. I wish. But no, what we are going to start on today Today is the medieval blacksmith. So let me go ahead and switch over my instructions. There we go. When you were going to San Diego Comic Con, you had lists of things to pick up for people. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. All right, so. Ahead and open that up. Yeah, this this a little bit. There's a little bit inside. Uh, this has two thousand one hundred sixty-four pieces. Eighteen plus. So kids, remember, you can only build it if you're over eighteen. Which is actually kind of... Bullcrap. <laughs> I could have built this thing when I was uh, 10 or 12. Who gave all the knife? <laughs> actually, so I I got this from a, an old job. Uh, a one of, the, one of my coworkers there. He had this giant plastic jug full of these. And it was just like, he just brought them into work and he said, like, Yeah, just take them. 
I mean, we're in IT, so we're always needing knives and stuff like that to open up uh, uh, boxes and stuff like that. All right, so let's see. That is 10. Let's toss that over there. That is 6. Toss that over there. That is 9. Toss that on top of 10. That is 8. Toss that on top of 9. 7 on top of 8. 2. Might need that soon. Uh, that's an 11. Toss that next to 10. 12. Over by 11. 14. Oh, boy. Over there. Ah, 1. There we go. Uh, 3. Might need that. 5. That's 6. That can go over by 6. 13. All right, that pile's getting a little bit big. Go over there. Four. Put that on top of five. Plates. Instruction booklet. Very thick. Very, very thick. I have the PDF, so I'm putting that aside. All right, so three, two, and one. It is a thick book. Yes, the PDF has 240 pages. Oh, and uh, I got I downloaded the uh, PDFs for the Titanic. Three books, over 200 pages each. Sorry, had to sneeze. I think we'll be working on that for a few streams. And I did set up the camera so that it'll uh, um, I, I can shift it up this way to see it. Titanic Volume 1, yes. You're so old, your first Lego set was 6041 Armor Shop? Oh, I always wanted that one. That is, that is one of my favorite sets I never got. I'm going to have to clean up so many uh, pieces after this. There <laughs> are so many uh, plastic bags. Uh, let's move those. I got another uh, husky pupper. And a new color! It's a different color! Yay! Uh, color's not quite right on the camera, but whatever. So this is the olive color. Also, need to blow my nose. Remember old castle sets connecting via the gray pegs? Yeah! That was a great system. Because you could just build out giant castles. Of course, it was expensive to do so. Interesting uh, pieces here. So we're starting with the uh, the base of the blacksmith shop here. <laughs> Old collecting Lego pry bars. I have so many of the orange ones. I just keep getting them, and I just like like alternate like that. Where's my other one? There we go. Just like this, and just stacking them up because like you know I, I don't I don't need more. <laughs> They keep giving me more. Howdy, Dracophile. How's it going? Oh, hey. They have the, uh... An interview with the, uh... I guess it's the guy who did the Lego idea. I, I assume. Oh, yeah. That's the, uh... Um... Lego idea thing. Some of his early medieval builds... I might have seen those online before. I can see the simplification they did for this set. They did a lovely job with the set, though. And greedy hands on all of it. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, there's the uh There's the uh the armor shop. First Lego blacksmith shop 6040 was released in 1984. A horse, a hard-working blacksmith, and a brave knight provided lots of roleplay fun. It would be 18 years before the next blacksmith shop, 3739, came out in 2002, a cozy workshop for a blacksmith and his wife, designed by fan designer Daniel Siskind, uh, who I have met, under the My Own Creation theme, the forerunner for Lego Ideas. As part of the medieval theme in 2011, the Lego group also launched Lego Kingdom's Blacksmith Attack, 6918, with an evil dragon knight and a hammer and anvil powered by a mill. The medieval blacksmith model at 21325 is the biggest medieval set to date, with all of the charm and authenticity of a classic medieval tale. Um, yeah, I never got the uh, got that third one, but I did get both of these others. Well, no, actually, no, no, I never got the 6040. I always wanted that. And then they helpfully have a full page where they show you all the different uses for the brick separator. And there's even a link to the website. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the first level. 6, 7, 8 is second level. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 is the final portion. Alright. So we take these two. Go ahead and push these up a little bit. Make sure that these are going to be on. And we can build the uh, minifig. And the pupper. Flashback to 1984. You need a medieval town again. Yeah, I know. They need to, they just like, give me, give me a uh, um, modular medieval town line. That would be awesome. We got the beard. We got uh, oh, two beards. Okay, got an extra beard. It's always handy. Should we make him uh, scowly or let's make him scowly? Get down there. Thank you. Where's his hair? There's his hair. Yeah, Scowly. And he has a smiley face on the back. He's two face. Yeah, they've been doing that lately, um, well, for quite a while now, uh, with a happy face and a scared face for, like, you know, some of the, the um, movie tie-in sets and stuff like that, uh, and anything else that it has kind of a, um, a theme like that. Classic Lego Hammer. You got this piece all the way back in 1984. Wasn't there a face-changing guy in He-Man? Heck if I know. I watched He-Man. I don't think I had any of the uh, toys, but I don't remember a darn thing about it. Other than, of course, by the power of Grayskull. Holy cow, they, they have you put on a lot of pieces all at once here. Always nice to get more sand green. I'm a big fan of sand green. When in doubt, your brain can probably recall random nerd stuff. <laughs> I know how you feel. 
It just depend for me it just depends on the nerd stuff. Lego, Lego I'm pretty good at. Lego nerd stuff I'm pretty good at recalling. Apparently you can buy a Daikatana on Steam for 97 cents right now. That seems like 98 cents too much. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. There we go. Get a 1 by 6 plate in here. The two olive green pieces. <laughs> Throwing shade. To be fair, I've never played it. Uh, I just know its reputation. <laughs> they need to give you 97 cents to put it on your computer. I mean, I know people keep asking Kikoskia to uh, complete his uh, Let's Play of it. Sand green is a neat color. Yeah, I love it. And one of my favorite of the the quote unquote new colors, the the colors since the you know all of the original primary colors. Such a lovely, lovely shade. Never seen green sand though. Hey, look, you know sometimes you just call it a a, a name. I have not had any of these uh, three by three tiles, round tiles. That's cool. They need to give you a new computer for you to put on put it on your new computer. <laughs> a lot of one by one round tiles in this set as well. It's like it's like I got a. Lego Dots set. Which, if you want to make some interesting, like, tile designs on a, on a building, like a building floor, you can't go wrong getting those Lego Dots sets. Those are, those are pretty nice. Oh, and I chose the Crusader Kings 2 music for this stream because I was going to be building this. I might go with uh, Victoria 2 music for when I do the, the Titanic. <laughs> nope. Uh, what am I... Right, this one. A Roman mosaic Lego floor. Yeah, you could do that exactly. And I like the uh, the new two by two half tile pieces. These are pretty uh, pretty neat. I, I can definitely see a lot of good use out of those. I'm looking forward to getting some use out of them. All right. Now we pull this one again and. These. I wonder if the main reason this is listed as 18 plus is because they're having so many pieces get put on in each uh, step. It's kind of ridiculous. Only kind of. Lots of nice tiles, though. Lots of nice, nice, very nice tiles in this. I mean, they, uh, a long time ago, they had uh, some mosaic sets where you'd upload a uh, an image, and then they'd create a mosaic out of it, and you'd get 
a certain number of bags of five different colors. You get, uh, I think, white one by one plates, um, black one by one plates, and then gray, dark gray, and a not unique, but fairly unique light gray uh, color with all that. And so you'd, you'd be able to make these big mosaics of pictures. Pretty low resolution and stuff like that. Um, but pretty neat. And I got a ton of those. I just like uploaded an image where I, I specifically figured out how many I needed to put in pixel-wise to get... Because they, they just send you a bag of them based on how many you need kind of thing. So if you needed like 100 of them and they made them in bags of 30 then you'd get four of those bags kind of thing. So I, like, figured out exactly where you needed, uploaded an image of that, and it was just, like, black and then dark gray and then gray, light gray, and white. <laughs> it was, it was no, like, no image, no real image whatsoever. Um, just to get, like, a maximum number of uh, those, you know, the bags of those colors. And then I used those to make streets out of, like cobblestone streets, just randomly putting down the, the grays and light grays and dark grays. Made a really nice street look. But I can see how using the uh, the one-by-one -one tile pieces and everything like that will make a much nicer thing. Because one of the problems with it is that, you know, you'd put a minifig down on it, take him off, and he's pulling up the uh, cobblestones too. You had to really be careful when when <laughs> laying out and moving around minifigs on that. But it, it ended up being really nice. Um, we had for uh, Brickfest one year a modular castle town thing where I, I had those as the streets and I had plots of land that buildings could fit into and just was like, hey, you know, tell me how big your street is, your, your building is, and I'll, I'll put you down. Like, what is this a mosaic of? All oh, streets? Mostly it was just colors? <laughs> I mean, I don't think they cared that much, but. Alright, let's see. Put that up there. But yeah, it was a pretty cool. Uh kind of short-term thing that they had. But it's nice that they're doing mosaics now. Um, I'm, I've been tempted to look into some of them. Uh, but it's not ones where you can, like, upload the... Uh, an image. You get, like, the, the Beatles uh, mosaic and... Um, the Map of the World mosaic and stuff like that. Still pretty cool, though. Very tempted to get some of those. Uh, I feel like that is not the right color. Is it? It's gotta be, right? No, it's not. Okay. There are two different colors here. There's three different colors. You got the, uh... Um... Lime green... You got bright green and regular green. <laughs> that threw me. Color's a little bit different. It doesn't seem right. Between, I think that is. Yeah, yeah, that's going in between. Okay. They should give you a top-down view of this when they are messing around with uh, some of these like that.
when they're in unusual positions and unusual placement away, uh, they should definitely do... Um, a top-down, straight, top-down view of it. They used to do that quite often. I don't think I've seen that in a little while. Move that to the side. Get our 2x2 two two tile here. Like in this one, it's pretty obvious it's two, uh, two studs away and three studs away here. But for this other one, where I wasn't exactly sure that some of these needed to go in the middle of... Um, like, centered in between four studs, uh, they should really do a, a top-down view for. I'm guessing that that is going to go right in there. Yeah, that fits. Does that fit? Yep, that fits. That's going to go right in there. And indeed it does. All right. I was wondering about that. Flip it over, make sure that it is all tight. There we go. Let me see. Yeah, it's mostly on, but I'm getting some glare. Let's see about moving this uh, over here. Uh, Pepper, come up there. Get the minifig up there. I can put the uh, brick separator off. I don't want the pieces to go off camera, though. Okay. Uh, I've got another one of you. I should probably orient this a little bit so that it's lined up based on what we got uh, on the instructions. Uh, plants over right in there. Uh, corner brick. Uh, right on that corner plate as well. Get some more of the plants. Got lots of plants on this, too, which is pretty useful. Oh. I was wondering what this clip was going to be for. The clip is to hold a bone. I'm guessing that the, uh, the pupper is going to have an opportunity to bury that or something. Some slope pieces. Okay, maybe this is not where I thought it was. No, it is. All right, that fits. Just got to move that a little bit. All right. There we go. And the flowers. Trying to remember. I think these might have been Scala flowers. Okay, a one by six brick. Get the uh, the brick brick design. Don't question it. 
I'm not actually sure what those are called. <laughs> I haven't looked into the name of them. Get our long brick right here. Straight down. And that appears to be it. Uh, no, there's a one-by-one one plate that goes someplace. Ah, right there. He questions everything. Yeah, brick, brick. You know? It's absolutely correct. What else would you call it? Alright, two by four over here. That one by one hole is uh, throwing me off. It's they may do something with it, but until they do, it's gonna it's gonna bug me. And so they, they've got two different designs. It's either straight across, or you got the offset. So you can put them together and get the uh, the offset, or you can just get a straight across shape. It's very nice. Unfortunately, they don't have any one by ones or corners or something like that. And then we use the other direction here. One by two plate, and then those uh, two by three tiles. I think that's going to be for the forge. That's my guess right now. There we go. Is that it for this step? Uh, looks like it. need eight of these, which is all of them. Wait a second. Ah, yep. Made a mistake. I know. It's shocking. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I actually have to use a brick separator. The illusion of all and fallibility has been shattered. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll make you forget that this ever happened. And then you will not question my infallibility ever again. This has uh, studs on just two corners. Pretty useful piece. Good way to transition around a corner like that with... Uh, Some pieces on it, and these are these want to be one apart. And then we have these. All of one by one piece. Alright, that looks like it for this step. Okay, another 2x4. <laughs> that merchant slipped and fell on your sword three times. Yeah, exactly, you know. Nope, that actually needs to go two spots away. There we go. Okay, the panel pieces. One right there. One right there. Round one by one tiles. And these are a pretty interesting uh, tile piece because they're uh, one by three, but they have two studs offset to the uh, half. Um, it's pretty common to get a, a one by two with one stud in the middle, um, but this is a very nice complementary piece. 
Very useful. Very handy to get. Pretty happy about getting that. I have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet it's like coal or something. Like a pile of coal. That would make sense. And I forgot to put a couple pieces on last time. A 1x3 arches, one of my favorite pieces. One of my favorite brick pieces, I should say. <laughs> At least he wasn't yeeted from Castle Ald this time. Oh, you know what? Alright, let's move this up a little bit. And I think that's going to be it. Unless I use this 1x1 uh, one one plate, but I don't think so. Nope, we are on uh, step number, or bag number 2. I think we can get through that bag. Pour that out there. We got two uh, smaller bags. Put that one there. Get some nice uh, tile pieces, orange tiles. Trans orange tiles. I do not have many of those. If any, actually. So I'm pretty happy with that. That one can go there. Uh, speaking of merchants and swords, we got a sword. You know, that is one of the primary reasons for building a castle. Exactly! We have uh, a light piece. There's a little tab in here. I'll leave it in for the moment. Ah. A 2x2 two two, trans red brick. That's nice. Barrel. Crate. Crate. Barrel. Alright, let's see. Next step. 1x6 brick. Uh, let's actually start with the one by one olive brick right up here. And then the textured brick bricks. Crate and barrel is oddly expensive for its name. <laughs> Somehow I'm not that surprised. And we want the one by one with two side studs. There we go. Some olive pieces. Uh, we get a gray brick brick. Another sand green. Which is really vertigris, but, you know, hey. Yeah, go with what they decide to call it. For consistency. Okay, we've got a little table to build. It's using dark brown. Elephant trunk pieces. I am not exactly sure what those are going to be useful for, used for. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, the barrel, which is normal brown. Or current normal brown. Goes in the corner. Table goes right there. All right, that's it. Uh, okay. We got uh, two by three and black. Nope. That's not it. Where is it? Black ingot pieces. Might be iron. Uh, iron ingots. Maybe that's what that's supposed to be. Hard to say. Right now. There it is. And a half lid for the crate. Which is pretty nice. It's One of the nice things about this, uh, this crate is that you can get 2x3 plates, 2x3 tiles, and uh, close off the, uh, the lid. You can get 1x3s as well. So you can give them lids. It's very nice. 
I'm a big fan of that. And that will slip right in there. tiles there. Uh, might if you pick folks' brains as you're having a massively uh, chaotic and destructive uh, thought storm that rivals and possibly surpasses Katrina. Sure, go ahead. I mean, this is in large part just kind of a, a chatting stream. Orange, get the uh, trans red piece here. Ice pick or dental pick? Uh, the little girl from Quest for Glory 4? <laughs> uh, oh, neat. Alright, that's a like, grindstone there. Okay. So here we go. We got the uh, Technic Axle piece. And a 2x2... Two cylinder tile with a hole in the center. Pretty cool looking piece. Fits right on there. Put that in there. You get a nice little grindstone. That's pretty cool. I like that. Alright, now we take out the tab from that. That is a bright light. Put that right there. Orange piece there. Olive brick, olive plates. You can only pick your nose if you uh, if your lock pick skill is high enough. That's true. That is true. Otherwise. Uh, You'll insert it too far. Alt survived the bright light, so he's not a gremlin. Isn't that supposed to be, uh, sunlight? It's interesting that we got orange there and bright yellow there. But we shall not question it. Uh, no, that's it. Alright. Um, got some uh, transparent blue going on with this. I don't think that works on uh, dragons, just Mogwai. I mean, I suppose I could be uh, a Mogwai pretending I'm a dragon. I've been wanting to go back to a random D&D &D world idea you had ages ago. One by one trans blue plates. Which I don't think I've gotten a one by one trans blue plate in a really long time. They used to be really common. Get them in all of the. Uh, all the fire. Uh, the police car and sets and stuff like that. It is a nice shade. It is a very nice shade. on the edges. Get two more inside. And of course, these are the headlight bricks. Because that used to be what they were used for on cars. <laughs> you don't get them very often anymore either because uh, the these types of pieces have mostly taken their place. Um, but these have a very specific geometry which is still extremely useful. Yeah, like, this this piece has mostly taken its place. Versus that. Um, but the geometry is that this height here is two plates. So it's pretty useful. And uh, I don't think I have any in this, but... Uh, if you take one of these and you have those plates that have the overlapping, the uh, like the the bracket thing that has studs on it, 
you can put that next to it, put a plate on this, like this, and it'll be the same uh, geometry, the same height. So that's pretty handy, too. I love Lego. Lego's so, uh, so cool. They do a really good job with the geometry. Ron, Earthquake! All right, what is this? Um, that is not where I expected that to go. Right there. Huh. I don't know what that's going to be for. Okay. A window frame, one by one plate on top. Make sure that is flush that in there. One by two plate, one by one plate. I mean, these are massive plates. These are the largest Lego plates they make. Base plates are not as, are not full plate thickness, so going to put that out there. <laughs> Alright, we got the side clips here. And more one-by-one -one plates. I think I got that. step. Uh, yeah. I did get everything there. Okay. Uh, now we get to use the uh, trans orange tiles here. Which are not trans neon orange. It is a different, uh, different piece. Black ones for uh, coals that are that have cooled. It looks like that's kind of a neat, neat design that they they've got it set up so that it it farther from the light it is, the more it looks like it's cooled. Kind of like that. So it'll look like that. What do you think of great ball contraptions? Um, impressive, but not really my kind of thing. Um, I mean, I like you know, I, I applaud their uh, their skill and everything like that. Just not really something that I I have had interest in in doing myself. I do not understand this uh, blue light doesn't come out there. And I'm kind of assuming there's going to be, like, that's going to be water, but I thought that would be for, like, the, a well over here or something. Although that might be the tree. There's a tree. Oh, right. Um, and we need a one by four tile here. Will I become the Bob Ross of Lego? Probably not. I mean, I have thought about doing some of my own building on stream, but if I did that, I'd be using, like, a digital designer type thing. Planning it out, rather than actually building it uh, with pieces on stream. And that's mainly because it's easier to plan it, figure out the geometry,
that sort of thing. Happy little Lego trees. Oh, that's kind of neat. We got the, the bellows here. Uh, we are looking for that piece. And we want, yep, one of these, the upside down one, and the right side up. One by one with top clip, and the inverted cone. And I think this is just gonna shove right inside there. That's a pretty neat little uh, way of doing it. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything that covers up this bone. It's just there. Alright, 2 by 6 brick. That is over here. 2 by 3 tile. Nothing in there right now. Nothing in there. So something's probably going to slip in there. That's my guess. Another green piece. One by one brick. One by one brick with a side stud. Uh, well, yes, the bone is for the dog. I kind of expected there to be a, a cover on it so the dog could bury it. There, then we get uh, that piece, another one by one olive brick. One by one olive brick here. Yeah, that's matching that up. Ah, we got uh, a wood pile, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Nonsense that blacksmith is making bone armor. Got a bunch of these uh, one by one cylinder tiles with a, a wood pattern on it. That's pretty cool. I like that. And that is right in the middle. Okay. One by three. And one of only one of these is a little bit longer. There we go. And that is offset. So that's a pretty cool uh, wood pile there. I like that. That'll just fit right in there. I like that. Okay, that's it for that step. Now we do the Lego Dino Tail. That's what it is. It's Lego Dino Tail. Stacked on top of each other. There we go. One by one tiles on them. Uh, 
Alright. Get that right in there. And anything else? No. Alright. Now we have the uh, elephant trunk. These were also used as elephant tusks, but... Meh. It's a dino tail. It's obviously what it is. <laughs> Go look up the old Lego dinosaurs and, and you'll see them. Uh, the ends of these are the same size, so they did fit together into the same uh, parts as well, which made for some in could make for some interesting uh, designs. Okay, and we got this, a 1x3 plate, a leaf. That goes there. Uh, this leaf goes, oh, there it's stacked on top of each other. Happy little abominations. Sir, part of your forge has a tail. Or is it a tentacle? Sorcerer! There we go. I'm guessing something's going to slot in there. This is an interesting uh, slope piece as well. I don't think I've gotten any of these before. Get that on there. And one by two tile. And I think that's going to be it for this uh, step. Yep. Now we've got uh, bag three, so we've got uh, got an extra brown cylinder tile with the wood pattern, extra orange cylinder tile, extra one of these little pieces that I don't know what I'd call. Uh, clip piece, one by one tile, one by one plate. Always handy to have extras. All right, but that's about where I think we're going to be calling the uh, stream here. Um, oh, hey, if I remember next time, uh, we'll have an opportunity to talk about uh, uh, some more of the LEGO geometry, because I see some pieces coming up that are going to be useful. But we've got uh, bag number three coming up. And continuing to work on the first floor of the uh, the blacksmith shop. Uh, so I had a I had a blast this time. I hope you guys did too. Um, definitely let me know on the Discord. Uh, you know what you especially enjoyed and stuff like that. Um, you know I got the the instructions down in the corner so that you guys can see what I'm looking at now. Um, I really liked. Oops, sorry, I didn't get, mean to get that shake. Um, I liked getting that on there. That was pretty, uh, pretty cool. Is there a great way to wind down from a long week? Well, that's good. I'm glad that uh, works out that way. So I want to thank you guys, and uh, I'm gonna call it a stream. Let me see if there's anyone that I can raid. Um, no one I follow does Lego streams, so that's not gonna be a thing. Um, I can go ahead and send you guys over to Seal and Mortar. Uh, I don't know how much longer he's going to be playing, but go ahead and get that raid going. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming out. Let me know what you liked on the Discord and stuff like that. And uh, you like the instructions in the corner? Excellent. I'm glad you did. Uh, I was really pleased, you know... Someone gave me that idea last time, and it worked out. I, I thought it worked out really well. So I want to thank you guys. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Spelljammer. Don't forget, Monday, Super Robot Wars. Uh, Wednesday, more uh, Super Mario RPG. Friday, Minecraft, and then back to building this. Unless I get the itch earlier. I'm kind of feeling it. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming out, and I will see you next time. See you then, everyone.